Yes. Hello. I wanted to make this little video today after watching my octopus teacher last night. An amazing uh, little documentary on Netflix. Lots of people have been talking about it, telling me about it. I finally got around to watching it. And it was, it was honestly really, really beautiful. I won't say too much, won't give it away, because I think you should go watch it. It's worth it. But essentially, this guy going through a hard time uh, eventually goes swimming, uh, diving every single day, snorkeling, uh, and meets this little octopus and becomes, you know, his octopus teacher. Uh, so I highly recommend it. They, be, they, they form this really tight bond. Um, and the octopus is incredibly intelligent, more intelligent than what we would ever realize. Um, and they develop a really deep connection, which is really, really beautiful. Highly recommend checking it out. And it really made me think about how we tend to interact with nature as humans. You know, we tend to see ourselves as separate from nature. You know, we've conquered nature. It's kind of why we've created this world as we have. Um, and... I think that's the wrong way to approach our connection with nature and it's a big reason why we're facing all the problems that we're facing in this world right now um, because we're acting as if we're separate from nature. We're acting as if we can use nature as a, as a resource, which you know we can in some ways, but we have to realize that that resource is actually a part of us. We are a part of this earth. We are not separate from it. We are our living organisms on this earth. And often we've, we've uh, interacted with nature through fear. Um, and we do that a lot as humans. A lot of the things, we're, we're fear of people we don't know. We have fear of animals we don't know. Fear of places we don't know. We operate in a fear-based mindset, which uh, tends to you know, create this, again, separation. And usually our initial reaction with fear things is to either fight it or run the heck away from it. So... Uh, I think this 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 documentary really taught us something cool that if we approach nature, approach life in general with openness and and love even, you know, and from that understanding that we are all a part of this, you know, uh, just like my left hand is a part of me, um, my right foot is also a part of me. These things are all a part of me, just like that octopus is a part of this world as I am a part of this world. So we're all a part of this earth here. Um, and we can work together in harmony with the world. Things would be so much easier, so much better. And I think we'd unlock so many miracles, literally. Uh, like this this little documentary kind of show these potential connections that we have, you know, this beautiful understanding that nature can show us. Uh, but we just got to open our hearts to it. And this sounds so crazy, right? It sounds so nuts. Look at dogs, man. Dogs were literally just wolves who we were probably terrified of until eventually we somehow befriended them. And now I think it's pretty safe to say we all pretty well love dogs, unless you've had some sort of traumatic experience with it. Um, for the most part, we love dogs. We've developed this incredible connection with dogs because we approach them with this openness, you know, and, and, and now they bring so much joy and happiness into our lives. I'm not saying that we should go domesticating the entire planet. But I think that what this little documentary shows us is that with just a little bit of openness, with just a little bit of perspective, you know, I think we can change how we interact with this world. And that's the key to solving sustainability and all these things. Um, and as we learn to work with this planet, uh, instead of using it, then it's going to show us so much more, so much more uh, beauty, so much more ways to be resourceful, um, and so much more ways that we are all connected to this, which is just going to, again, reinforce the fact that we need to work with it in sustainable ways. Because it is us, you know? It is our home, and this is where we're at. Um, yeah, a really fascinating little documentary, really beautiful, really cool little documentary there, My Octopus Teacher on Netflix. All right, everybody. Peace.